Well, just out of another lockdown, so good time to take the bike out, get some fresh air, maybe find somewhere to do a little bit of a walk. It's in the last month or whatever it's been, been basically just sitting at my computer all the time, barely even got out of the house, so my body really needs to do something. I saw a sign saying there's a park down this way somewhere, so that might be a good place to have a bit of a walk. And some gravel. Do cows. <laughs> it's fine. like a neat track. Well there's the car park. Well, there wasn't anything saying this was just a footpath so that appears to be the end of the track. I might uh, park the bike and go for a walk up the hill and see if there's uh, any views or anything. That looks like a bit of a track sort of thing there, so... Don't have the energy to clamber straight up the hill. See what there is around. Well, following this track along... Brings you to this. A really tiny tunnel. Oh, there is a little bit of light right at the end of the tunnel there. Oh, gee. Can barely squat down enough for this. crawling on my knees now. That is not very pleasant. <sighs> yeah. 
guess there's graffiti. Good on for getting down here though. <laughs> Jeez, that proof is low. <laughs> but here the tunnel is getting closer. on my knees. Well, that's weird. So, no idea what that sounds all about. There we go, that is the other end of the tunnel. So it went through this. Fairly large hill. Which I will be walking over. Because I'm not going back through that tunnel. Smacked my head a few too many times. So I think I'll follow the fence line and see where it ends up. So that's the highway on the other side of the river. And that stop bank continues all the way into the distance. So I might see if I can actually get my motorbike onto that part of it and uh, see where it ends up. Yeah, don't think I'm going to try that with road tyres. Even around the edges, that doesn't look good and it's probably going to get worse. Cutting this ride a little bit short, I was going to go exploring a few more places, but when I was going through that little tunnel, I smacked my head against the ceiling and uh, it's actually got quite a gash there, it's bleeding a bit. I sort of noticed it when it started trickling down my forehead. So, um, yeah, go home, get patched up. Don't particularly want to get blood in my helmet. But that was an interesting little adventure. Had no idea that thing was, you know, a tunnel there. And it seems to be known. A few other people were there. Some people on bicycles had rocked up who were doing geocaching stuff. And 
there's a location near there and another family sort of showed up as well and of course their uh, kids will find it quite easy to go through but it's a bit of a squeeze for someone who's over six foot and uh, let's just say rather wide As long as there's a bit of flexibility you can sort of bend over and squeeze your way through it. It's not like it's a you know a speleological expedition. You don't need to be a professional caver, it's just walking for uh, I don't know how long that is. It felt like about 50 or 60 meters long. Sort of bent over occasionally on on your knees if you're a big person. Anyway, I am waffling. Hopefully that's not a sign of concussion. And I'll try and find out what that tunnel was. It's got me curious. I'll look it up. And it's probably well known in the area. Alright, signing off. And going to patch myself up. See you next time.